Hi everyone, let us praise God for a healthy life in mind and spirit. The church celebrates the memorial of Saint Justin Martyr. The word martyr comes from the Greek martus, which means witness. In the Christian tradition, the martyr makes his holy life a testimony. Several people lived by their exemplary lives as witnesses till the end. Stephen, who was put to death, forgave, like Christ, those who took his life. Why? they were throwing stones at Stephen, he prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit, he said, then he fell on his knees. He cried out, Lord, don't hold this sin against them. When he had said this, he died. At the beginning of the celebration, we raised up to God the prayer of the Holy Church, which does not live by allegories, but by the testimony of people who are not ashamed to confess their faith. The Gentiles have told me allegories. Are they worth in the light of your law? I will speak of your covenant before kings without fear or shame. In the book of Jeremiah it is written, I will make a covenant with them that will last forever. I promise that I will never stop doing good to them. I will cause them to the respect to me. Then they will never turn away from me again. The Church is the living witness of God's presence among us. In the first prayer of the celebration, we ask the Lord to remove from us the doubt that only the cross of Jesus Christ is able to dispel. We pray, O oh God, you have given to Saint Justin, your martyr, to find in the folly of the cross the incomparable knowledge of Jesus Christ. Grant us that having rejected errors that surround us, we may become steadfast in the faith. The cross highlights the true power of God. The foolishness of God is wiser than man, and the weakness of God is stronger than man. In the Mass reading, we see the patience of Tobit when he falls blind and he keeps his faith unshaken in God. We read, Tobit did not reproach God for the misery of blindness that he had fallen. Trials are part of the righteous life. Despite the seriousness of his blindness, he stands by the strength of his faith in God. Despite the provocations of those around him, he had the fear of God. But Tobit feared God. Indeed, the fear of God is the respect due to the one who wants our good. He will bless those who fear the Lord the small and the great. 
In the gospel, Jesus is tested once again by his opponents who seek to trap him with a political issue. About the payment of taxes, to whom should they be paid? Jesus does not let himself be tricked. We read, Give back to Caesar what is Caesar's, give back to God what is God's. Indeed, Jesus takes the opportunity to point out the true power that belongs to God which is not in conflict with earthly power. God's love is above of all, for his authority cannot be compared with human authority. The human authority must never be divinized. Every day, God renews our strength with his word and at the table of the Eucharist. We pray, grant us, Lord, to participate worthily in the mystery of the Eucharist, which Saint Justin defend with courage. God never forgets those who put their trust in Him. We pray in the preface, by giving His life as Christ, He glorified God's. God is a fountain of life for the one who gives life for himself and also for others. Towards the end of the celebration, we join our voice to that of Paul to rejoice in the crucified Christ. I want to know nothing but Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ crucified. We pray, may we follow the lessons of Saint Justin, your martyr, and we give thanks for the gifts we have received. Every life given is a seed of life for the glory of God and for the salvation of all. Love for God with all our strength, as Jesus did, brings happiness and joy to the earth. Thank you and may God give us the grace of a healthy life in body and spirit. Amen.